Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Backstag tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the sixth tutorial of the beginner trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly suggest you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The back stag is very similar to a front stag as the name states but there's a bit of differences so we'll go through and break them down. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the directions. This trick tutorial is created for you and for informational and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any health concerns, please make sure to seek professional medical advice. Please also make sure you warm up your body before you start this video. I have a warm up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm up so that you can try before you learn the tricks. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel so that you are notified every single week I upload a video. If you're looking to further your pole journey and combining tricks and dance together, then consider signing up for my online learning platform, Pole Art Bowl, where we put all the tricks together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find in the link in the description down below for further information. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Now let's get into our conditioning before we get into the back stag. So you're going to come back onto your toes. Inside hand comes right next to your neck. Now from here, you're going to squeeze your armpit in, make sure that your wrist is facing forward, elbow facing forward. Outside hand comes nice and high, thumb facing up. Now from here, you're gonna squeeze into it, pull in your top arm, squeezing into your armpit. You're gonna start lifting your leg off the floor. Lift and then coming down. Now, if you feel like you can lift your knee all the way up towards your chest, you can do so. If you can lift your leg a tiny bit off the floor, that is totally fine as well. So let's do four on each side. We've just done one. Coming back into the same position, standing right next to the pole, squeezing into your armpit, inside hand neck level, outside hand nice and high. I'm gonna lift it off, go three more, and two, and last one. Perfect, all right, onto your other side you go. Coming onto your toes. Inside hand comes right next to your neck, squeezing into your armpit. Wrist facing forward, elbow facing forward. Outside hand comes nice and high, thumb facing up. You're gonna lift your leg off, and you've got four more. And three, and two, and last one. Well done, that is conditioning done. Now let's go straight into a trick. This is what a back stag looks like. Let's go into our back stag. Now, if you watched your front stag tutorial, which if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you to watch it. We're going to come into the same exact leg positioning. So again, if you feel like you're not comfortable or if you feel like you're a bit iffy trying the leg positioning, then try it from the floor. You're going to stand right next to the pole or sit next to the pole. You're gonna start off with, let's start on this side of the pole. You're gonna land your right bum cheek onto the floor. Both knees facing in. Inside toe meets your outside knee. And then make sure you point your toe as well. Now, this is our leg positioning. Now, with our hand positioning, it's the same positioning that we've done in our conditioning. So you're gonna squeeze into your armpit, outside hand comes nice and high. And there is your back stag. Now, the difference between the back stag and the front stag is that with your front stag, your hand positioning is your first one. Inside hand comes up, outside and across. With your back stag, you're coming into your armpit, inside armpit, outside hand nice and high. 
The second difference is that you are spinning backwards as the name states in your back stag. With your front stag, you are spinning forward. With your back stag, we are spinning backwards, meaning we're gonna have to swing our leg around, start spinning backwards. So let's break it down together. So you're going to squeeze into your armpit. Outside hand comes nice and high. You're gonna swing your outside leg around and then you're gonna lift your leg off and then you are in your back stag. Make sure you're looking over your inside shoulder and then to come out, you're going to swing your leg around and coming down into the floor. Well done. All right, let's try it on the other side. You're going to squeeze into your armpit. Outside hand comes all the way up and over. You're going to swing your outside leg forward, swing it around, knee facing in, looking over your inside shoulder to come out. And stand on the floor. Well done. All right, let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one, leg placement. Again, this is very similar to our front stag. Make sure that you try adjusting your leg from the floor if you're still getting confused. You're gonna land on your inside bum cheek, both knees facing in. Your upper thigh should be touching the pole and then your inside toe to outside knee is faced together. So aligned in one line. Yeah, and then you can try coming onto the other side as well. Same exact thing. Coming onto your left bum cheek, front of your thighs touching the pole, both knee facing in, inside toe meets the outside knee. Now, other thing, make sure that you're squeezing into your armpit. That's gonna help you way more with the grip. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is, you're not, if you're not squeezing in your armpit, you'll probably end up sliding down. So make sure you're wrapping your, your armpit all the way around, wrist facing forward and elbow facing forward. So squeeze in. And then your outside hand, thumb facing up. So as if you're grabbing like a can of beer or soda or whatever it is. Sometimes I see some people with the thumb facing down. So make sure that your thumb is facing up. Now, as always, if you have trouble with gripping, I have everything in the link in the description below. So make sure that you invest into some body grip, hand grip, wipe down the pole with a towel, with methylated spirits, and that should help you a little more with your grip as well. Otherwise, good to just work on your grip and grip strength as well. And one last one, make sure that you are spinning backwards because it's a back stab. Sometimes we, you know, it's really hard when you're doing pole because when you're doing a trick, you don't know which direction you're going anymore. Although it makes sense in theory. So make sure when you're spinning backwards that you're swinging your leg forward and out so that you can start spinning backwards. And that is all the tips I wanted to go through. Thank you friends for joining me in the Backstag tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next tutorial. Bye. Oh baby, I love you.